the whole concept of chasing sunsets is this idea. I mean, it's in the name, go chase a sunset, find a place to take the most beautiful landscape picture that you can of the sunset or during sunset. It doesn't have to necessarily have the sunset in it, but the concept is not solely dedicated to sunsets. It's just the idea of getting out and being adventurous and going and finding places in your hometown, in your home state, or in your country, whatever, that you might not have ever seen if you hadn't gone outside. <laughs> so that's the whole concept of chasing sunsets. Today, I'm gonna show you that even in chasing sunsets, you can chase the moon. Today is August 1st and I am in the process of trying to find out when the moon is rising because today is the Sturgeon Moon. The Sturgeon Moon is one of the largest super moons, if not the largest in the entire year. This is currently what I'm going to try to find. Um, I think I have a place where I can go check out the moon. It's not always going to be the same thing. Sometimes the moon sets and rises in different times, so I'm going to check that right now. So today, August 1st, 8.55 p.m. So I got some time. So I'm, I'm going to go take a look and see if I can find a spot that I can just park and chill uh, for the evening so I can find a nice shot of the moon. I'm going to be using my phone and an app that shows you kind of where the celestial bodies are going to be. So let's see. I'm hoping between those two things, I'll be able to get at least a decent shot of the moon. Um, either way, it's going to be a chill uh, evening. I mean, that's the whole point. You don't always get the shot. You don't always get the photo that you're trying to make. Sometimes it's just about going out and being outside. So let's see. Fingers crossed. No middle finger. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to head out, go look for my first spot. I think it's really important for me personally. I think it's important if you're going to go scout a location that starts at a specific time, it's better to go early. Right now, it's 5.33. It's going to take me 26 minutes to get to the little area that I want to be in, but that's perfect because then I get to chill. This is why sometimes I have a problem with the word shoot because in reality, yes, like if you're doing sports or if you're doing animals, yeah, it is like shooting because you got you to gotta get it right away. But it's not always that way. Sometimes photography can be a meditation. Sometimes it can be a relaxation. So for me, I like to get there early so I can chill. I'm going out there right now so I can find a nice place to go and see what I can get. So this is a nice little spot to kind of pull over, but might be a lot of traffic for me to stay right here. But let me see where, I'm gonna check this new app out and see what's up with it. See if I can find something here. So let's see, the moon there. This might actually be a nice place to see it. However, I'm not really feeling because the moon is going to be right there right over this cornfield but what i'm not feeling is that there's a lot of cars passing by <laughs> so i don't know spark this on the maybe column yeah it's kind of just what i thought so if you're from this area, which happens to be Lancaster, Pennsylvania, then you probably know the spot, which is one of the most beautiful overlooks of one of the oldest rivers on the planet. Um, it's a really, really pretty spot. And it's one of the best places to go and take a look at the sunset. 
is one of the first places that I actually take people that are from out of town because it really is a special place. It is gorgeous. But <laughs> problem here being is that you have the sun coming down right here, which means the moon is going to rise right over there. Now I'm going to show you with the camera, but what's over there? It's all forest. So there's no way I wouldn't get the moon until one o'clock in the morning. So, so it looks like even though this is one of the most beautiful places in this entire county, it's not the place for tonight. It's a good lesson for y'all. Just cause it's pretty, don't mean it's right. So right there, just beyond the cornfields at the tree line is where the moon is going to be rising. I think this is a really interesting place to take these photos because right over there you have the moon that hopefully those clouds go away, but you have the moon right there kind of rising and then you got the sun over here setting. So to me, I think this is the perfect place. Now something that you didn't see was me going and asking the owner of this farm for permission. Uh, I just kind of wanted to touch on that. It's not always necessary, but for me, I, I try to do it as much as I can. You know, especially when people have kids and they have families and stuff, they're not always expecting somebody to be in, in a spot at their property. So, you know, for me, especially out in a rural area, I, I like to go and ask them and just say, hey, can I take a picture over here? I'm just gonna, you know, park over here and take some pictures. Most times they'll say, yeah, there's no problem with it. But the last thing that I want is for them to kind of go by their property and see some random person in their property. You know, that, that can sometimes be a little shady to some people. So for you guys that are going out there and taking pictures of farmland and taking pictures of landscapes, especially if you're from the city like myself, I love out here in the countryside, but you know, I'm still getting used to being out here in the countryside. So if you're not used to it, just ask them. You never know, you know, maybe you even spark a friendship or, or, or a conversation. You never know. I'm here a couple hours early. It's only like, it's only seven o'clock. I'd rather come to a spot and chill, have a moment to meditate, have a moment to relax, instead of just <laughs> Sometimes it gotta be like that, but when it don't, it's nice. It's nice. And that's what today's about taking pictures of the super moon and feeling ourselves in our calm. This has been a crazy night. I don't know if you can see behind me with this particular lens, it might look like a little pin, but it's absolutely humongous, absolutely humongous. Um, the moon is just as powerful and just as beautiful as the sun. Um, if you go out and you look for it in the right places, uh, today was really incredible. It was 
not as stressful you know sometimes you go chasing sunsets and it's like you got an hour and a half but here it was just kind of like ah, let me chill let me find the right place and i found a good spot and it's immaculate it's beautiful it's gorgeous you can feel the energy of it it's just it's wild i suggest you go look you know, there's plenty of resources if you go online just when's the next super moon in my area and you'll find it and make a make a night of it you know it's not always about going and trying to watch the newest thing sometimes it's about going and finding a place and shutting off you know turning everything off and just chilling and tonight was that for me i hope you guys enjoyed it that's crazy <laughs>